Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing the Naked Urban Decay Smoky Eye Palette. I have never bought anything or used anything, to my knowledge, from Urban Decay Cosmetics. So today I decided it'd be fun to show you my review on this palette. I am so excited about this because, for one, the colors look beautiful from here on the back. And the packaging is just absolutely beautiful. I love the smoky background, and I love that the words pop out of the package. I can't wait to look at this palette. Okay, this comes with a instructions thing of to show you how to do different looks. Okay, this is the palette itself. Oh, and it's so beautiful. The words pop out again. It's like made of an acrylic plastic and has the same smoky background that it does on the other packaging. Okay, so these are the colors and that is a, a mirror with plastic on it. Those are the colors and the colors are called from this side to this side. They're called High, Dirty Sweet, Radar, Armor, Slanted, Dagger, Black Market, Smolder, Password, Whiskey, Combust, and 13. Uh, all these colors are absolutely beautiful. They look really pigmented. There are some matte colors in here and ones with some shimmer in it. And yeah, they look really beautiful and a lot of combinations could be used with these. Okay, let's see. Let me count how many shades there are. 12. You get 12 shades. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, you get 12. It's funny that the last number says 13, and yet it's the 12th shade. That's funny. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right in and use this. You get a brush with it, a eye brush, one that you could use in your crease or as a smudger, and then one a bigger brush and a smaller brush on the end basically okay so yeah you could use that for a crease brush and the other one for blending or pretty much multiple use brush that you could use for pretty much anything so there's the packaging I'm gonna put it right there and I'm going to make up a look I am going to prime first because I haven't primed. I'm going to use my primer longwear 12 hour power from Hard Candy. Just going to use a little bit because a little goes a long way. And I'm just going to put that on my face. Okay, primed and that's drying. Alright, let's see what I'm going to use for colors today. I'm going to peel off this plastic, put that somewhere. Okay, and the mirror is very big, so I am just going to use the mirror, and today I'm using my regular e.l.f. brushes, and maybe I'll use the brush that it comes with a little bit just to test it out. Okay. And after I'm done with eyeshadow, in case there's any fallout at all, I'll just wipe it away. And then after the eyes are done, I will do the rest of my face. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to coat my entire eye area from my brow down to my lash line with the color 13 which is kind of a matte white so I'm just going to use that and coat my lid it is pigmented so that is a good sign Next, I'm going to use whiskey. I'm going to tuck it in my crease and go out with it near my edge. Now 
Next, I am going to use dagger, which is this blue right here, and I'm going to put some on both corners of my eye, inner and outer. Next, I am going to use some of Slanted, and I'm going to put it right in the middle of those two corners. I'm really, I'm like, I'm really trying to like pack it on there, like. Otherwise, it like, it doesn't show up. Like, I can see it on the brush. Like, like trying to like pack it on there. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. And now it kind of feels like the colors are like molding together to become one giant coated colored eye. Like I literally packed it on there and it looks like I've literally done nothing and when I try to do more it like rubs away. I've been liking this palette up until, like, now. Maybe I will use some of High a little bit. Maybe that one will work better, which is this far shade. Um, let's see. Use this different brush. Maybe I can use that and pack it on in the middle. That one's a bit better. It definitely shows up more than the other one. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of slanted there. I don't know what it is, but it didn't work for me. And dagger, when you put it on, it looks a lot darker. And it looks like it's like kind of fading away. Like it just started to do that. Like, you can't see it, but I definitely can, like, starting to fade right here. Like, it looks darker on this side than it does on this side. Like, I can see the white under it now from when I first started. High is definitely a good color, though. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it looks any different on camera, but it does here. It's definitely a shimmery color now in the middle. I am not loving this right now. Okay, let's see if I can fix this with any other color, and I will be right back and I will test out some more stuff to try to make this look a little bit more better.
Okay, update. I tried using some of Smolder on top of that dagger shade that I used, and it literally just, like, wiped it away. Like, it's like you can see that it's lighter than it was before. Like, putting some of Smolder on there. Like, like it wipes it away. Like, literally. Let's try some other colors on top of that, shall we? Okay, 13 is really good, and Whiskey is really good, and the color High is really good. Like, that, those colors show up. But Black Market, like, fades away um, when I tried that one. Um, Slanted, like, barely goes on. Um, and Dagger also does the same thing. When I try to layer it, it does the same thing as Black Market. Like, it fades, like, away. Like, I am not loving this. I am so glad that when I got this, it was, like, $24 instead of the regular $54. Because I would be so pissed off. Okay, let's see some of these other shades, shall we? And try to fix this look. Um, this is, like, literally, like, my first unsuccessful review video. Bound to happen sometime, right guys? Okay, let's try some other colors with it. Okay. I am going to... Let's see, try some of Password, which is this color right here. And I'm going to... Try wiping some of this off on the edge here just where I put the other shadow. Let's test it out. Like, my eye is looking so screwed up right now. But let's try Password. Like, as I layer it, it it literally just goes away. Let's try a clean eye, shall we? Mm, look at me, I'm literally getting rid of the work that I did. Because I'm not happy with this. Like, 13 was good, whiskey was good. Password, one. let's see if I can, like, get rid of all of this shadow and try some of these colors on their own. I'm going to test out every single one. Dagger on its own. It definitely shows up, but it's Kind of patchy, really patchy. I am so close to about to give up with this palette. I might use some of the other colors though. Let's try the less bluish ones and try the the shimmery brownish gold colors okay I'm gonna actually use their brush for this part I don't think it's my brushes because I've used other palettes from other brands and it works fine with those ones so this one should be just fine too. Okay. Dirty Sweet came on really well. I'm just going to coat my lid with that one. Okay, I, I like that color. No patchiness at all. Not the edge there. Okay, yeah, see, I really like that one. That 
one has no problem. Okay, let's try some of Radar. probably add a little bit more than that. I used less than the other one. Again, same thing as um, Dirty Sweet Radar. Coats the lid just fine. So, these first three shades and Whiskey and 13 are fine. I guess it's, it just seems to be And, okay, I'm going to try Armor. Again, that one coats the lid just fine. Okay, so some of these colors are great. Some of them I hate like the colors are beautiful but just the way that they go on I'm gonna try some of the other colors with their brush just to see I'm going to try dagger with their brush I'm gonna use this side goes on the brush well like trying to like get it in there it's, it's patchy like it does not look good like it's dark in some spots and lights in other spots and like it should not be that way like I only used a little bit and I can't go like like two motions <laughs> without it like wearing away like seriously all right I'm gonna coat the other side I'm gonna try black market with their brush with their bigger side I'm gonna keep the palette um, but for the other colors that seem to work really well which seems to be just not the bluish colors like This color is really hard to use. Like, it, it coated my entire lid, but, like, with blending and stuff, like, it just fades away. Okay, so, let me try to blend something in it. You see, I can coat the entire lid with it, but trying to get it in my crease is really hard with that color because it patches. Like, if I like smack it on and I use the color alone, it works. But with other shades, like when I try to layer it, it like wipes away, and it like it really should not be that way. And my eyes look so screwed. So, I'm going to keep the palette. I'm going to stay away from Slanted, Dagger, Black Market, and Smolder. Um, the other colors seem to be fine. So, I'm going to use those ones. It's just the bluish ones. It's just the middle ones. Like, for real. These four middle ones. So, four out of twelve shades... Um, that, like, I'm so done with those ones. Like, they are just awful. Okay. 
So I'm going to keep the palette for the other ones. Like packaging, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, amazing. Um, look at this, it's like so dried out, and it looks like a smoky eye. Like, I was so excited to use that palette because I've never used anything from Urban Decay. And I've heard so many good things about this palette, but, like, I've also heard bad things about it. Um, I've heard mixed reviews, and some people can deal with that. I guess some people can, like, make it work or whatever. But those colors in the middle, I just, like, I give up with them. Like, and they're... And, and they wipe away easily when I try to blend them with other colors. And it's just, it's it's really hard. And I use these brushes from e.l.f. with other palettes, like from Too Faced. And I use them with other e.l.f. products. And, um, God, what other palettes have I used with it? MAC palettes? I mean, and it all comes out fine. And they all work fine with MAC and Too Faced. Um, and also regular drugstore products they work well with. So they work with high-end products, and they work with, um, also drugstore products. And they are fine, and they work really well. It's just, with this palette, like, I try using their brush, um, and, like, with some of those colors that I used on these brushes, and it, it does literally, like, the same effect where it's, like, patchy, and it wipes away, and it's just... It's a difficult thing. I am just so done with that palette. Um, I don't know if I will buy another naked palette. I mean, look at those colors. They're like so beautiful. And they really are really pigmented. Um, but the, I just don't like the... Maybe it's me. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Just my experience with those colors are not good. Um, most of the palette works for me. Um, just those ones do not, um, I'm gonna be nice and give it, like, a 5 out of 10 stars, because, like, more than half of the shades are, like, really good. Um, you probably will see me use that palette again with the other shades, it's just I probably won't touch the bluish kind navy colors, because those ones are just bad. <laughs> Um, for me anyway, and um, maybe there's some other stuff I could have done or tried. Um, maybe when I get some different brushes, because I also want to try some brushes from some other brands, I will try that out again with different brushes, and maybe it'll work then. But for now, I'm not a fan of this palette 100%. Um, I don't tend to wear smoky eye that much, so... Well, these types of color, I do do smoky eye, but I don't tend to use, like, that kind of shades. I usually do go for more brown colors most of the time. So, that'll be fine. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, regardless of the minor hiccups of it. Um, if you want to follow me on any of my social media sites, they will be in the description below as always. Subscribe if you want to see more makeup reviews and also other beauty stuff and things of that nature. So yeah, leave a comment below if you want to and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, so I played around some more with the Urban Decay Smoky Eye Palette and I managed to create this look not using the colors that I did not like of course. I tried going back in with those and I was not happy with them. I went online and I looked at some of the reviews. Most of them are positive after all. They have like a 4 point something out of 5. Um, but there were some that fell right into my problems that I had um, with the exact same colors that I tried to use. So I'm glad to know that I really am not the only one. I have heard things about this palette, but I actually went online and I read some of the reviews um, on UrbanDecay.com. So I'm glad that, yes, other people have had problems just like me. Um, for this look, I used 
um, pretty much a little bit of all of the colors um, besides Slanted, Dagger, Black Market, and Smolder, which were the ones that I tried to use to make a smoky look in the first place. But I used High, Dirty Sweet, Radar, Whiskey, and 13 for this look, and it came out really nice and some and these uh and this look actually reminds me of some of the looks that I've used with my Too Faced palette. So it's 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 fine though. So it's good to know that the quality of those colors is just as good as my favorite palette. Um but yeah, so I'm going to continue using this in some videos. Um maybe um, I'll get some more different brushes and I will try to use the other colors with some different brushes but I still don't think that my brushes are the problem because I've used these brushes like I said in the video with MAC palettes and Too Faced palettes and even drugstore palettes and they've all worked fine with them so I don't see how Urban Decay would be any different and um, there was this one review that I read where someone used professional brushes, they said, and they got bad results even with their um, expensive brushes. So, yeah, I am i don't think it's my brushes then if they had the exact same problem. It's good to know that I'm not the only one for real, like I said. But, yeah, I'm going to continue using this palette um, for the colors that I like because I actually created a really nice look with this one and I'll use them and mix them with some other shades and I do have shades the ones that I don't the ones that I don't like I also have some like darker navy blue shades in some other palettes um so it shouldn't be too hard to make looks that I would or should have gotten with this with using some other colors mixed in so it pretty much all works out um Still kind of disappointed that the other shades didn't work out, but it's all good. More than half of them work. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just really disappointed that this is um, the first review slash first impressions that did not go as well as I hoped. So, I'm going to stop rambling now, and that'll be it for today. Um, I'm wearing some metallic liquid matte lipstick and I might create a look in a future video for metallic look so that should be fun that's a new video idea anyway like I said gonna stop blabbing all right see you guys in the next one bye guys